Hey folks, Soda Fountain here. Well, do you know Borabudur Temple is the largest Buddhist temple in the world? The name of the city Jojakarta means a city that is fit to prosper is taken from Hindu epic Ramayana city Ayodhya. Jojakarta was once the capital of Indonesia between the year 1946 to 1949. Welcome to Jojakarta. So we are in Georgia and uh, Borobudur temple is the first place in our itinerary uh, which we are going to visit. We woke up before 4 a.m. and arrived before uh, 5 a.m. to see and take photos of spectacular sunrise from the top of Borobudur Temple. It is set in central Java, Indonesia's fourth largest island. Borobudur is the world's largest Buddhist temple constructed in the 9th century and is most visited tourist attraction in Indonesia. Our next destination in Georgia is Prambanan Temple, which is the 9th century Hindu temple in central Java region of Indonesia. It is the largest Hindu temple of ancient Java and yes, it's UNESCO World Heritage Site in Georgia as well. Today after breakfast, we are heading to see Merapi Volcano. It's the most active volcano in Indonesia and has erupted regularly since 1548. It is a great and once of a lifetime experience to able to view the beauty of Mount Merapi. Due to the lack of time, we took the shorter trip which included three stops. It's a special and intimate tour of Merapi. After Merapi, we are heading to explore Jalan Malioboro Street. The most famous shopping street in Jojakarta and I would say the main tourist attraction in Jojakarta. The best way to explore the streets are by foot. Malioboro has plenty of shopping destinations and you will find everything from local markets to sophisticated malls. This street is just like entering into a big craft market where craft sellers sell handicraft to the visitors. We also got to see some really interesting local dance and music. So today we are going to visit Kota Gude. Kota Gude is well known for its silver crafts. It is also known for other Javanese crafts and arts such as copper, gold, silver, leather, etc. The main street is lined with silver workshops selling hand bitten bowls, boxes and modern jewelry. After Kota Gude we are visiting Imogiri Pine Forest. Seriously, we didn't expect this place to exist in Jojakarta. It is a perfect spot for some really beautiful pictures and great for nature lovers in just few bucks to have an awesome view of this place, which is absolutely worth it. So today is our last day in Georgia and we have decided to explore some beautiful beaches near Georgia. Indranti Beach is a first beach near Georgia. It's a very popular beach. It's very photogenic with white sandy beach and nice cliff views. It is a good place to relax. Lots of surfing activities. The rock formation here is just stunning and the wave is perfect for the surfers. 
you can also witness a very good sunset experience here. And our next beach where we are going is uh, Coco Beach. Believe me, it's worth coming to this place. This beach gives relaxing ambience. After our wonderful experiences in Georgia, we are finally going back to India. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, share your views in the comment section below and don't forget to share this video with your travel buddies. I will see you in the next travel video. Bye-bye.